move fast. You know, we've always had this this question. It's like you, you can't just tell people to move fast. The question is like, what's the deal? Like, what are you what are you willing to give up? And famously, it used to be move fast and break things. And the the idea was that we tolerated some amount of bugs in the software in order to basically encourage people to move quickly. Because it's like moving fast, I think, is the key to learning, right? It's like you want to increase the iteration cycle so that way you can get feedback from, from the people you serve quickly and, and then incorporate that into the product. So we would literally get into situations where, you know, it's competitors of us would, would ship, you know, once a year, or once every six months, and we'd ship code every day. And it's like, of course, we're going to learn faster and we're going to build something better if you're shipping something every day. So the question is, what are you willing to give up? So it used to be we would tolerate some amount of defects in the product. Now, it got to the point as the, as the company grew that we were producing so many bugs that going back and fixing them was actually slowing us down more than, than we were speeding up. So I, I still thought, okay, like moving fast, this is still like a really important thing. We've got to change how we do it. So we, we kind of evolved to building a somewhat less sexy phrase, move fast with stable infrastructure. And, and the, basically the new, the new bet was we were going to invest disproportionately in building up good infrastructure and abstractions inside our companies. So that way the average engineer who comes here is going to be much faster and more productive at getting things done than in other places. And you know, at, at a scale of almost 100,000 people, I think what this really means now is like methodically, I don't know, it's like as, companies just add process over time, right? It's like, and it's all good intention you know, if, for the most part, right? It's like people are trying to you know, make sure that we don't repeat mistakes that we've made. So you just have this like checklist of things that everyone needs to do before they can ship anything. But most companies don't have a counter process to that to basically garbage collect and remove processes that are no longer that useful. So part of what, what I'm really focused on now is, is just methodically going through and making sure all of the different processes that we've built up as a company still serve us well and kind of empowering a, an, an effort to go do that. So 